Old Pinky Geek Revolution! How many people have been here before? Okay, that's about 25%. For those of you who have not, I'm going to explain the rules and what we're doing here. This is a nerd quiz trivia show where the goal is not to win, but not to lose. <laughs> the loser, how many people have seen this prize, has the distinct honor of donning for your social media documentation pleasure the following items, the head and the who's. <laughs> now hopefully we are all Twitter and Instagram enabled in this audience, and we will document this and tag that person, because I'll have each member of our panel give their, uh, their social media tags as we go down the line, and uh, they're going to describe this not lose. We will answer a series of, ask a series of nerd trivia questions and they will strive to answer. How will they know if they are selected? We don't have puzzles, we have pallets. They will raise the pallets. The first pallet that goes up is the one who gets to answer the question. How do we know which one is the first person to bring the pallet up? Because I said so. <laughs> The audience may observe that I may have incorrectly selected someone who did not have their paddle up first for your opinion. And I would like to, at this moment, cordially invite you to keep that opinion to yourself. <laughs> I will see what I can see down this range and, uh, and I will do my best. Um, uh, we have question sheets that you can write your own questions down on. And if you have a question that you want to submit, raise your hand and one of our... <laughs> oh wow, okay. oh, this is great. Uh, and we'll come around with the questions, you jot them down, um, and then give them back to uh, the, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, help, help volunteers? Uh, and they'll bring them up here to me. If your question is too difficult and too esoteric, I will not ask it. So the trick is to make it hard enough that it's tricky, but not insane. And uh, then I'll ask the panelists. If you stump the panelists, I will, uh, you will raise your hand again, and then we'll come to you with a bag of prizes that we have money of. Everybody understand that? that part of this very important. And I want, I want to make sure that people, I want to remind folks, you got to be honest, right? There's going to be a lot of hands going up and down there, so let's be honest. Uh, well, who had an inquiry? I did actually, I just wanted to make sure for my own, like, Safety. Has that been sanitized since last year that you put on? Yes, it has been boiled for a period not less than 10 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm corporate. I'm relieved about that because no. I saw that like, Chuck Wendy's put that on in June, yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. I mean, nothing against Chuck. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's a little hairy though. Alright, does everybody understand the rules of the game, both on the panel and in the audience? Okay? First, I'm going to have our panelists introduce themselves, uh, and I will. When you introduce yourself, give, you must give one social media tag which can be used in the event that you are a loser. Let's start with you. Uh, hi, my name is Rob Hart. I, I am the author of The Warehouse, uh, which just came out. Uh, it's been optioned for a movie by Ron Howard. I hope he makes it. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm Alina Boyden, and uh, this is my debut novel, Stealing Thunder. It's coming out in May 2020, and um, my publicist and marketer like to call it um, Pretty Woman in Fantasy Mughal India with a trans woman in character and dragons. So um, I'll be signing arcs of that afterwards. And um, my MySpace is. Um... <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Um, you can call me um, Adeline Boyden on Twitter. My name is Marshall Ryan Mariska. I'm a fantasy author. I have four different fantasy series that are all set in the same fantasy city that all picture the one. Uh, one of the more recent ones is the way the shield, the shield of people comes out at the end of the month. <laughs> um, and it is just filled with all sorts of fantasy business and elections and street. Yeah, sorry, my brain just went. Elections, though. Elections. Elections. And electioneering and riots in the streets and swords and shields and axes and whips and all that sort of fun stuff. And what is your social media? My social media on Twitter, you can embarrass me at Marshall Moresca. Hi, I'm Sarah Pinsker, and I am Sarah Pinsker at, or at Sarah Pinsker on Twitter and Instagram. And my book is A Song for a New Day. It's a near future rock and roll dystopia. So I am really happy to be here on Girl Punk Revolution, where I will answer 
all your questions on girl bands. Um, what iconic 
science fiction film was snubbed for an Academy Award because of its reliance on CGI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one, there was one that was a famous controversy. That's it was the sort of first big time. First big time CGI. That degree. The answer is Tron. The answer is Tron. <laughs> I didn't see your panel go up, which is your fault. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, let me see what else we got here. Oh, here's a good one. Saruman the White is the head, or was the head, at a bad end, of which wizardly order? Is that a name? This is going to be a little <laughs> <laughs> The White Hand? Is anybody in the audience on this one? Okay, this is make it a little hard. Uh, go ahead. Were you just wiping your eye? <laughs> this is awkward for both of us, isn't it? <laughs> it's the Istar. The Istar. Um, all right, let's see if we can find something that you can actually answer. <laughs> seems to be a bit of a scratch here. Just a, just, just a quick point of order. Do we still lose points for wrong answers? Yes. yes right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, you can go into negative numbers and cool. definitely dock them a point for making me look bad for not mentioning that when we begin. What vampire novel? Did George R. R. Martin publish in 1982? I actually know this. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it's never ruined his career. It's like only. No, it's not. Never his career is not a vampire novel. I can answer that one. Yeah, because his career is definitely <laughs> ruined. This one is Fox. I don't know how that guy makes rent. Temporarily, <laughs> no. Temporarily. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fever dream. Thank you. Um, let me see what else we have here. Oh, here's one. Who is the first speculative fiction author to win the Hugo Award three years in a row? Go ahead, Mark. K. Jemison. K. Jemison, Nora Jemison, who I believe is here at this time. All right. In Star Trek, the only actor. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that. In Star Trek, the only actor to appear in all 80 episodes of the original series, including the pilot, was who? Go ahead, Mark. Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy, correct. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm getting it. <laughs> you guys have so many questions, which is awesome, and I'm going to start doing them soon, because they're usually harder than this stuff. <laughs> um, from which book does this opening line come from? Mr. and Mrs. Dursley. Of number four. Go ahead, Leo. Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone with Philosopher's Stone. Correct. Correct. Right. 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 Extra question there. Almost my gosh. From which book does this opening line come from? I actually know this one. Can we just stop with the extra from? And that kind of freaks me out a little bit. Because it's like, from which book does this come from? Like, it's Ooh, right. So you're definitely Dr. Point also. <laughs> <laughs> Good, no, but thank you for pointing that out. Uh, from which book does this opening line come? We'll stop. <laughs> Quentin did a magic trick. Nope, go ahead, Mark. Uh, the magician? Well done! <laughs> oh, come on. Damn. All right, we're going to have to back off the opening lines because they're a little too easy. In the show Firefly, Kaylee replaced what character in the role of engineer? It doesn't always Kaylee. Are you serious? Yes. I actually know this. Go ahead. Esther. Esther! <laughs> Killing it, Mark. Killing it. Don't worry, I'll stump you. I'll find something. Yeah, Chuck warned me about that hand. So. <laughs> oh my god. Here's a good one. What is the fictional desert planet featured in the Dune series by Frank Herbert? What's the name of that planet? No, Jim, I never read Dune. You know that. <laughs> Can't call it Dune. Arrakis. Let me stop this guy. In Iron Man 3, how many additional marks, each mark being a suit, did Tony Stark create? Alina? Six. Nope. Oh wow. I was a blind guy. Anybody else? Hold on. How many in the audience now? Ah, 
outstanding. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you after next year. Um, in A Song of Ice and Fire, there are nine region-specific surnames for bastards, bastard children. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'll give you a point for each one you get correct. But you get points taken away for the ones you don't get? Yeah, if you, no, you don't get points taken away for the ones you don't get, but you get points for incorrect answers. But I'll give you points for every correct one. Go ahead, Alina. Snow. Snow is one. Any others? As long as you have the floor, Alina, do you want to grab any others? Pass. Okay. One for Alina. Go ahead, Sam. 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 Any others you want to do? Nope. Okay. One for Go ahead. Uh, stone. Stone. Correct. Anybody else? Sharing. Rivers. Marshall? Storm? Rivers and Storm, both correct. Two points for Marshall. Anybody else? Before I close it? Rachel, you, you, the panel's like, that panel is sort of... <laughs> okay, very good. The other ones are Pike, Flowers, and Hill. That was very good. Nicely done. Let me see what else have here. Uh, oh, this is a good one. In Spaceballs, what are the hierarchies of speed on the space ball? <laughs> Come on. No. Will I be disappointed yet again? Go ahead, Marshall. Light speed. Correct. Ridiculous speed. Correct. Ludicrous. Correct. Because I do a lot of ancient Greek history, this is a cool question. Huey <laughs> wants to know, in ancient Greek mythology, Helen, for whom the Trojan War was fought, and you wrote a really convenient arrow for the stuff you crossed out, was the result of the princess Leda being seduced by Zeus in the form of what animal? Go ahead, Sarah. A swan. A swan. Outstanding. <laughs> Or miss it. Oh, well, this is a good one too. What is Hello Kitty's surname? <laughs> Go ahead, Lena. Is it surprise? No! Because <laughs> I just always see that up there. <laughs> no, just me. Kitty surprise. Nope. Anybody? Outstanding. Laura, what is it? It is white! Outstanding. She'll bring you over your... Uh, All right, the audience is definitely pulling it out here. Maybe I should stick with this stuff. Um, ooh, this is a good one, too. Emily W. Hey, you guys are killing it. You're already wearing the crown. The writer of the Umbrella Academy show is also the lead singer of which major... Go ahead, Rachel. My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance. No, you want it, Martha. 
No, I actually don't know. You actually have so many points you can afford to lose one or two. <laughs> Go ahead, Lena. Why not? Is, is it a, a black catalog? It is not a black catalog. <laughs> it looked like one. <laughs> uh, Talia, what is it? It's a 26% license. It's a 26% license. Okay, that's much nicer. Thank you. Uh, someone will bring you a prize pack Talia. Oh, thank you. 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 In Battlestar Galactica, what was the name of the, you wrote other, but it's like alternate Battlestar Galactica that they run into while running from the school? Go ahead, Alina. Pegasus. Pegasus. That's right. Oh, this is great. This is a hard one, too. Luke. Luke. Well done. Pete might know the answer to this, but you know, hell. What superhero movie is the core for the Snyder Cut? Snyder Cut. That's Snyder Cut. Go ahead, Justice League. Justice League. I thought you had that one. <laughs> you really well done. Oh, these are great. They're way better than the actual prepared questions. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, here's the one. Alexis Garay. Did I screw that up? Or? All right. <laughs> Name three Disney princesses who have both parents. Alina. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty still has both her parents. Um, uh, Rapunzel from Tangled still has both her parents. And then, um, oh, now I'm going to crash and burn on this. Um, girl from, well, I'm princess her parents, right? <laughs> She's not a princess? Oh, she's a cow? Is she not a cow? Oh, Mulan. We'll do Mulan. Mulan's not a princess. Mulan's not a princess. Mulan's a princess! Mulan's the best princess! Here's another good one. 
Jesse? Okay, this is cool. I like the like diverse different nerddoms that are getting hit by all these questions. This is making me very happy. <laughs> Stormlight. In the Stormlight Archives, biochromatic breath and warbreaker and mist in Mistborn are examples of what Cosmere concept. And I will add an extra point to that. The person who can tell us the author they came up with. I can't believe nobody knows this. I, know, I didn't even understand any of those words. <laughs> So get this, they're all in English. <laughs> Did you repeat the question? I can, I can at least get the bonus point. Let me, let me repeat the question first for Alina. Stormlight in the Stormlight Archives, Biochromatic Breath in Warbreaker, and Mist in Mistborn are examples of what Cosmere concept? Yeah, I know. Go ahead, Mark. Well, it's Brandon Sanderson. It is Brandon Sanderson. Were you a point for that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the answer is yeah. Investiture. It is Investiture. Well done. And we will bring the prize out to Jesse. I still see bags, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, let me see what we Oh! This is one I just doing. It's personal to me. But uh, you probably all will not get it. Karen and Gay, did you? Karen and Gay. I knew that. I knew that. I just want to see if you knew that. Good job, Karen. <laughs> In the Warhammer 40,000 universe, all eyes glaze over. <laughs> um, what is the name of the twin gods of the forks? <laughs> you guys are just not my kind of nerds. <laughs> I know this. You guys know what you think is? Well, outstanding. The answer is Kieran. Fork and work. Fork and work. Outstanding. <laughs> Here is if you've given me an ultramarines question. <laughs> um, oh, okay, this is a good one. Will Fraser. Right there, okay. And folks, if you don't like me calling out your name, um, well, that's just going to suck for you. <laughs> I don't know how else to give you your prizes or give you credit for the question. And you wrote it on here, which was probably a huge mistake if you don't want to it. <laughs> um, this was the first movie to feature. The popular xenomorph creature, along with the queen of the species. Sarah? Alien. Alien, well done. Oh, man, these are great. I just had dinner with the person who likes the aliens. I thought you were about to say, I just had dinner with the xenomorph and the queen of the species. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> um, Anieta Torres? Anita Torres. I knew that, so I want to see if you knew again. Well done. Yeah. Um, Has anyone ever done a Xenomorph Warrior Princess contest? Because I, I, Costume? Because I, I think the time was passed. Yes. If any of you wanted, you can have it. Like, no? Okay. Which game, which game, which game did Sonic the Hedgehog meet Amy Rose? Which Sonic game? I'm sorry, does no one here want to say it? Not anymore. Nobody? Go ahead, Anita. Sonic CD. Woo! Oh, Sonic CD, outstanding. <laughs> I just want them to go home with bats. I mean, we're doing this for you. <laughs> really tough questions here. Yeah, this is not happening. <laughs> Why don't you just ask all the time? None of them are These are Harry Potter measurements, Christina. Oh, do it, do it. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Diana Cantatore? Did I get it right? Is that the first time I got my name right? Well, that just got awkward. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. If it's any, if it's any uh, consolation, this is how everybody who hangs out with me socially, this is how the conversations go too. <laughs> what is Nearly Headless Nick's full name? Nearly Headless Nick from Harry Potter. What's his full name? Nearly headless. How Nicholas? Nicholas. <laughs> Nobody? Fasting? Where are you? No, no, no. I know, it's, I know who you are. I'm looking for Cassie. Cassie, do you know the answer to this? What? Nearly headless Nick's full name. Uh, so <laughs> I would 
did, I'm choked up right now. That was wonderful. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you. You still got your prize tonight, right? That was great. Oh, man, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Oh, my God. Um, oh, this is good. Shanna C. Shanna C. Shanna? I got it right the first time. I shouldn't have second-guessed myself. This is a great one. What is Johnny... And the thing that's so funny is, in 2019, this actually isn't a lot. <laughs> what is Johnny Mnemonic's memory capacity? How much data can he store? Do you mind when the film is made illegal? 100 gigabytes. No. Yeah. Marshall. 64 megabytes? Incorrect. <laughs> it is something of circuits. Yeah. Keep coming, guys. This is great. Wrong answer to me. Like it. We just keep giving money answers. Yeah, but we're going to grind up right now. You know, I think that's a foregone conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so uh, Shana, tell us. 80 gig. 80 gig. I was close. 80 gig. Which maybe is. Ooh, this is good. John. Just John, right? You must be the only John in the audience. <laughs> um, this is the lightsaber question, right? I have a right, John? Yeah. Okay, this is a good one. I actually knew this. What determines, so we know that Siths have red lightsabers. We also know that they're Sith, not Sith, so I just screwed up that plural. <laughs> what determines whether a lightsaber is green or blue? Go ahead, Alina. It's um, what color crystal you crafted on the Old Republic and then slotted into it. <laughs>
You should maybe hire them to write the questions for next time. Seriously. Oh, this is a good one. What Star Wars film? This is PJ Argento. Yeah, PJ. Well done. What Star Wars film was the Clone Wars and the, from a character for both Clone Wars and Rebels? That character, Captain Rex, retroactively added to retroactively added to make him canon to a movie. Alina? It's Attack of the Clones, it's not a movie, right? Nope. Oh. Really? It's a retroactive to, to an even older movie. Oh, oh. Anybody? Go ahead, PJ. Sharon, tell us. 
Crystal Quest, outstanding. Oh, okay, school. Kevin, well, with Kevin, you already played. Oh, this is good. KC, KC, who actually provided the pronunciation guide, thank you. <laughs> In Buffy the Vampire Slayer, when Willow goes dark, Xander gives a rousing speech about coloring the crayon that prevents Willow from destroying the world. What color was the crayon he referenced? Go ahead, Aaron. Yellow. Yellow! <laughs> Note to self, no more Buffy questions. <laughs> Selma R. Her last name is apparently a small part. <laughs> All right, outstanding. This is a good question. In Avatar, The Last Airbender, what is the name of the group of warriors that captures Soka, of which the leader becomes Soka's love interest? <laughs> I get the feeling that this is not happening. <laughs> Nobody? I know, I know. Anybody? Everybody, all right, everybody just wants Cassie to answer. Cassie, what's the answer? The Warriors of Kyoto. The Warriors of Kyoto? <laughs> I'm sorry you stuck the panelists. Nobody can stuck Cassie. <laughs> if you stuck the panelists, then you still get a prize. What happens if Cassie gets more than us? <laughs> That's already happened. I don't know who will be wearing the mask, but I know who will not be wearing it, and it is Cassie. <laughs> this awesome. is good. Where's Nas? Nas? Anybody? Not low on us, right? Um, how many years did it take for Ash to win Pokemon League? <laughs> 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 Anybody? I can't believe no knows. For Ash, Ash Ketchum or the Pokemon League? The, how, how long did it take for Ash to win the Pokemon League in the anime? Oh, in the anime. I was going to say I won really quickly. I was pretty good at right. it. Right. <laughs> what is it? No? Okay, go ahead, guys. Say again? A lot. A lot? <laughs> 20, 20 years. Started in 1999. We'll, bring, we'll, give, we'll give that to Matt. 20 years? Well done. Okay. He's still 10. He's Okay, Tanya. So, oh, no years. Ooh. This is cool. This is cool. And this is age appropriate only for me. Hey, uh, uh, Maxwell Canal. Did I say your last name? No. Um, who is the bad guy in the first Friday of the 13th movie? Go ahead, Rob. Jason's mom. Jason's mom. <laughs> this could be good, but I can't read it. <laughs> Ooh, Eric D. This went so well last time, we're going to try it again. In the Pokemon... <laughs> What was the first Pokemon Ash captured? Go ahead, Rachel. Charmander? No. Oh. Charmander, by the way, is a Pokemon I've just learned. <laughs> Did he capture Squirtle first? No. Oh. Which is also a Pokemon I've just learned. <laughs> Like a blue elephant. 
a collective delusion. I mean, not a collective delusion. Anybody else? Was it a real answer? I have the answer if this is about the Highlander movies. Because <laughs> 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 that one, the second one was also a Oddly enough, if your first clue that it was not about the Highlander movies was the repetition of the words Super Mario and the Brothers. <laughs> Alright, so at the end, who had their hand up and was bellowing? What is the answer? It's a play. How do you know that? <laughs> No? 
KGP. Wendy. Wendy. Oh. 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 Okay, folks, we are at the final five minutes, and I want to give folks a chance to take their pictures. So if I could have the scorekeeper hand me up the scores, please, which hopefully are clearly marked so that I don't screw them up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody ready? No? <laughs> well, can anybody guess who our winner is? <laughs> yes, with nine points, Marshall in the half <laughs> In second place, with six points, Rob. In third place, with five points, Sarah. That was one, two, that's two, three. So in fourth place, good amount, I'm a writer, I gotta, I gotta pass on this one. In fourth place, with zero points, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> In fifth place, with negative one point, <laughs> it is Aaron. That means our winner is Alita. <laughs> and uh, these points were, uh, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> Everyone cameras up. Does everybody know her social media? Oh, God. Are you going to check it out? Oh, yeah. Well, let's, let's read it. Everyone cameras up. We, we do this for a living, folks. Everyone knows that's not a It is Alita Boyden, at A-L-I-N-A-B-O-Y-D-E-N. And Alita, can you stand up for us? Stand up for the camera. Up is that way.